Early this week, the Kampala Capital City Authority held a council meeting in contravention of recently imposed COVID-19 restrictions. The meeting was called to elect the executive leadership of the council. Yesterday, Kampala Resident City Commissioner Hudu Hussein wrote to division leadership once again, explaining that meetings by the various councils should not hold more than 20 persons. Uh, the Director of Public Health, the Lord Mayor, the town clerk, sorry, the clerk to council. In his letter, which we have seen, Hudu Hussein added that all the 20 attendees of such meetings must present a negative PCR COVID-19 test result. All other council members must then attend through social media applications such as Zoom to prevent the spread of COVID-19. I gave further guidance that this can only happen on condition that all the councillors are tested and that only 20 who test negative, only 20 will attend. Following reports that local government leaders were planning more meetings, we sought the view of local council leaders in Makindye and Lubaga divisions on the latest directives by Hudu Hussein. We don't have ambulance, people have no anything, the teachers are stuck, everything is stuck, it's just right to councillors. The local councillors, not even at only Kampala, but the whole country, they are very important, that we call it local government. But for them, we said, stay away for the business. Who is now in control? The letter which uh, was written to us by the RCC was only good faith. As a team, Kampala just has five divisions. We would have called as a leader to come up with a position how we can proceed and see that we are working for our people to protect their interests and also to say we are protecting them from disease. You can't just write a letter and dump it there. However, the local leaders say they are perplexed that parliament sessions, which regularly bring together nearly 500 people, can meet, but local council meetings are prevented. Only the MOPs and the authority councillors. For us, we are also elected leaders. They have to consider us. Our people down there need service. Service delivery is very key. COVID-19 is not going now. It's going to be there for a time, but we need to train our people on how to protect themselves from this dangerous epidemic. For his part, Hudu Hussein, the RCC of Kampala, says that he agrees with the local government leader's insistence on holding meetings after participants have been tested. But it's only the legislature, the judiciary and the executive that can continue to hold meetings of that nature under very strict guidelines as provided by the Minister of Health. Hudu Hussein admits that he erred in allowing the Kampala Capital City Council meeting at which nearly 11 councillors even tested positive for COVID-19 and will not allow this mistake again. But honestly, it was a mistake. And if it was not because of the pressure, really, that would have not taken place. And I cannot expressly say that I was fully convinced by what was happening. Thank you.